sorry, so sorry that I was such a fool, but I didn't know that love would be so cruel. Whoa, oh, 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 yes, you tell me mistakes a part of being young but that don't write the wrong that's been done whoa oh, 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 yes I'm sorry so sorry Please accept my apology, but love is blind, and I was too blind to see. Oh, yes, you tell me mistakes. A part of being young, but that don't write the wrongs that's been done. To all the women and girls with broken hearts, well, this is a song for you, and it's also it's also a message to say that we are strong, we are powerful, and we're starting the new year, year 2021, year five, with a transition to be stronger than ever, beautiful, and just confident in our skin. And no matter who hurts us, we'll keep on. We'll, we'll keep moving forward and we'll keep making ourselves beautiful. So this is my look for today. And you can watch my video. Also, afterwards, I will be posting a video on a crystal grid for the new moon in Capricorn today, 13th of January. You can still do the crystal grids uh, in the following three days after the new moon so however um the uh the video will be in french so i hope you'll enjoy it black liner this is lancome it's an old lancome that i have so doing a little wing as well and then So yes, if you're going through a heartbreak, you know, of course, just stay in touch with your feelings, you know? It's not 
good to suppress it. So just let it out, let it out, let it out as much as you can and as much as it needs to, rather. And then have faith. Have faith, believe in yourself and believe in the universe. I do really believe that everything happens for a reason. Okay, so it looks strange right now, but we're going to blend. Some more black. This is Urban Decay Troublemaker. So I'm using this black right here. And just some real techniques. You know this this brush right here. So I'm gonna wet it a little bit with the um, the elf setting spray oops let me just have and then just add this And then I'm going to join the wing. And then on top of that, an eyeliner. So this eyeliner is Sephora. the blackest that they have and I think it's waterproof too I'm not sure this waterproof it's waterproof also if you prefer okay then we are going to use this as a sample that I mean a sample but it's a nice sample neutral colors that was given to me by Estee Lauder and I'm just gonna use their little I like using their little brush actually you know this kind of brush I just like using it to just we're gonna fill in the part between the blacks and put this one right here which is like golden, but not really. It's not sparkly, sparkly. You know, it's like neutral. You can do that too if you want to add something like that. So this look is kind of like maybe 70s, 60s, 70s inspired. Okay, this part is not very neat, but you'll make it a little neater, I'm sure. Because I'm not a makeup expert or professional makeup artist, whatever, like all these amazing YouTubers. I'm just having fun and just trying different things that are creative. I just love to be creative. So, because I'm an artist and I love to do everything, you know, act, sing, do makeup. I'm into spirituality as well. I've been learning to, um, you know, to be good at tarot card reading and 
I'm just taking some Reiki lessons. You know, I'm just, I just love all of these stuff. I know a little bit about stones and crystals. So, so now on to um, this right here. One right here. And a little bit above. No, no, forget it. And then one right here. I don't have any, a lot of patience with the lashes though. That's that's the part that I'm like, whether it's mascara, putting lashes on, or you know, um, Just that whole thing is, oops. But it's good, I like it. All right, so let's put this. It's the travel size of the um, primer, the primer for lashes by Lancome. I like that brand, Lancome. I like Lancome and Estee Lauder. That These two are like one of my favorites. And even in perfume, I used to, have treasure by Lancome, Trésor de Lancome that I used to love for years and years and years and then now I'm, I'm using La Nuit de Lancome but I don't wear as much perfume anymore but it's when I do that's what I wear. So we're going to let that dry a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to put some concealer again a little bit more. Oh, I should have put, um, what's that called? So my concealer is the Maybelline. I haven't found another one, but I would like to try other ones. Mm. So I should have put the, what do you call it? what I'm supposed to put under here before putting the concealer, but oh well. With an e.l.f. brush, and this is the, um, a cosmetic, wait, what's the name? The a cosmetic, you know what this is, setting powder, whatever. So good. But I heard that from uh, another YouTuber that I that I like to follow. Her name is uh, Kristen321. Please follow her. She's great. I mean, she's an older woman, but I really love watching older women's makeup, actually. And um, she says that by Terry, I, I draw it, how high Hydro hide something setting powder is even better. It's like the best. So I'm gonna try that next when I'm done. When I'm finished with the, the it cosmetic one, it cosmetics. Okay, so that's done. Um, what's next? I'm gonna do my lipstick. So this is a NYX. SPL 816 lip liner I'm going to have to cut all of this I like edit it edit a lot of this because I'm pretty slow And as usual, I don't have a symmetrical lip. Like, it's not symmetrical. Like, this one is a little bit low than this one. 
But it's the, the whole face is just not symmetrical. I might do something about it somehow, someday. No surgery or anything, no, but I mean like, I'm sure there's something to make it more symmetrical. This is something that these doctors, not just doctors, but dermatologists can do. Because, oh, hell no, I ain't doing surgery. Like, I mean, never say never, but I might do it when I'm older, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't think it's, you know. I've always been scared of all these stuff. That's why i never done, like, breast implants or anything like that. Like, I'm just... Ooh, scary. But they look good on people. That's, you know, the people who do it, kudos to them. Like, it's a good choice they make. And, and the most important thing, anyways, is to be good, to feel good in your skin, you know? To do whatever it takes to feel happy. That's the most important thing. Sliding days. Oh, okay, I'm done with this. I have spent enough time because tried my best. Okay, next. Gonna let it dry maybe a little bit and then now I can do my mascara. Mascara right here. So I hope everybody's doing well and starting the new year with very positive perspectives. You know, remember that you're the, you're the master of your destiny. So, if you're not happy with certain things that were happening in your life in 2020, you have to at least try to change those things to make yourself feel more fulfilled, you know? The thing is, even for me, it's sometimes you just, it's just easier to just be lazy and get into like some comfort, not change your habits. And, um, but when you have been wanting to do something for a very long time and you don't do it, you know, it's, that's what makes it that's what makes you not like your life, you know? So at least trying is, you know, like, I'm, I, I never told you this, I think, but I lived in LA for 10 years, and I moved back to my hometown in 2019. But yeah, I lived in LA for 10 years to pursue acting, and I came back because it didn't work out. I was working, but I'm, I was also a foreigner, and I was working under a visa, a O1, an O1 visa. I might do a video one day about that because I know all the ins and outs of how it works when you're a foreigner in Hollywood and how to get the papers, all that shenanigans. I know everything. But the problem is that I didn't have a green card, I wasn't a citizen, so it was so hard for me to get a job as an actress, like a big production kind of job. I was even like solicited by a very important agency, um, not the big top top like CAA or, um, what's that, Morris? I forgot their names, whatever. But, but a good one, a good one where, where they have actors who are in like big shows. And unfortunately, when they learned that I had, I had the O-1 visa, it, they just turned me down, you know? It's, it's just annoying. It wasn't so bad in that sense. Like I was very disappointed. But, you know, when you look at it in hindsight, of course, I would have changed a lot of things. And, um, Maybe I wasn't as hungry as, as maybe somebody else would have been to like really do anything and shady things to get the paper and, and you know, um, I wasn't willing to go that far. So once my visa expired, I just came back home. 
and yeah but I do really miss LA it was hard in the beginning actually I didn't like it for like a long time it gets you a while to um, adapt you know especially when in Hollywood if you're just living in LA it's it's gorgeous it's amazing but when you're in the industry and trying you have goals and you, you realize there's just a lot of competition people from all over the world go to LA to become actors so you know and it's just you realize that and you're like oh wow okay so I really have to um, step up to stand out you know so I came back it didn't work out as I would have wanted it to you know I did some work I did a lot of commercials and some f film, independent film, but I never got into like big production. The only time I would get into big productions was to, to be an, an extra, so you know, like that's interesting when you're, I was an extra for example in the movie The Disaster Artist with James Franco and it was like a club scene, I mean a bar scene or something, or a club scene, and um, I remember it was just very interesting to me and, and so precious to be able to see how he acts, how he's performing so close, so that's the really positive side of it. But when you're doing, doing background work like all the time in these big productions, at some point it's, you're not going anywhere, you know, and you're also kind of labeled as just the background person at some point too in the industry so I, you know it was just stuff like that oh ah this is also what i hate about the mascara deal but it's okay let it dry learn that too you have to let it dry so next is going to be um bronzer so this is the hourglass i love this Power glass and another Real Techniques brush is probably a, a bronzer brush. Okay, I think I'm going to speed up because I don't want my memory card to suddenly be. I'm only scared with those things because I don't have like a super expensive camera that's, you know, that the expert YouTubers have for this. So I just have a little camera that's helping me a lot. Thank you. I'm so grateful. Mwah. But I just have to be careful that it doesn't just, you know, turn off because of battery or memory problems because <laughs> that's, that's annoying when you have to redo all everything and especially if you're putting mascara on I mean makeup on right now blush and another real techniques the blush brush did I say that right blush brush yes And then, once that's done, I like a lot of brush, actually, blush, actually. I mean, when there's, I love to put this on. This is my favorite step in the whole makeup, is to put the highlight, and the Becca one especially, is so gorgeous. Oh, this is not it. Okay. Another Real Techniques brush. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. I love this step. It's just, I feel like this just makes, it changes your whole face. Oh my god. This is so amazing. Then I'm going to put the Moroccan Spice, the white one. That's going to be right here.
this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know if this, they still do this, but they had like the liner, the goldish and the, the silverish one. See, I've seen, I've had it so long ago that it's not even marking anymore. Maybe I need to sharpen it. Let's try this again. Oh, see? Okay. Oh, Scheiße. good enough. Let's put the, this one. Mm, I like this color. Okay, I'm going to let it dry before it gets to my teeth and then I'm going to put my false lashes and I'll be back. And so the, eye, the eyes with the false lashes were also done. Um, I didn't want to do it on camera because um, I'm not always good so it's like a struggle still but I'm getting better at it. So I just prefer doing it uh, off camera and I added the Maybelline, just put a coat on top of the, the Fenty one. Um, this is number 120, and that's my finished look. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching, and please subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want to do for the new moon. And I'll see you hopefully in my next video. And we're going to do crystal grades for the new moon in Capricorn to start the year with amazing intentions and that all our dreams come true for 2021 and beyond. All right? Okay. See you later. Bye.